Ugh. Oh man, this sneaker. This silhouette, this shoes right here, was voted the number one shoe of the year. This shoe took Nike on another level. And I mean another level. The React Element 87s. Yo, when these first dropped, now this isn't the colorway that everybody loved. This is a colorway nobody even recognized. And that's why I'm talking about this one right here. But I'm talking about the silhouette overall. This shoe brought Nike on another level and it just fell. From being the shoe of the year, the greatest design ever made, some say, to being clearance bound. It's, it's crazy. We're gonna talk about why this shoe went from design to hype and right back to design because it's doing bad right now. Yo, all these running my bass speakers running. Holding chicken buckets, I'm JR in the nuggets. Lucky number eight, them hot fries got dub it. Gotta find a place to stay that broke. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the page. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Design or Hype or Design versus Hype, whatever you want to call it. But on this episode right here, we're going to talk about a sneaker that I actually love and I still collect because I like the colors and I love the model itself. But a lot of people don't even care anymore. And that is. Like I said in the intro, the Element 87s. Now, the Element 87s, this colorway, a lot of people don't even know about. A lot of people think this colorway is trash and they don't understand why I bought it. But let me tell you something about this colorway right here. This colorway in my hand is an Asia exclusive. Yeah, nobody knew that this sneakers only came out in Asia. But yet, when it came to the States, it sat went to clearance because they just thought oh it's another throwaway color now when i mean a throwaway color is because nike butchered the silhouette now the element 87s came out back in 2018 and it was the shoe of the year everybody had this shoe well not this color but the sale and the all black those two colorways sold out like that and those two colorways was on everybody's list everybody loved those shoes however what Nike did was butcher the shoe, as in they put too much colorway on the silhouette. Now, I'm gonna name all the colors because I think I have them all besides the sale. So it was the sale, the black, all blue, Neptune, there was an earth tone. There was actually five different earth tones and I think that's when Nike lost people. It was the peach fuzz, it was the neon blue, well not the neon blue, it was this neon green. And then there was a collab with them from Undercover, and that was actually great. The Undercover colorways are undefeated, one of them. It, those were fire. And after that, the shoe just tumbled. It trashed, it plummeted. So from going from being one of the hypest shoe of the year to now you could buy an Asia exclusive on the clearance makes no sense. And it's so bad that hype couldn't save it. And that's why I think this shoe is all about the design. If you love the design, you're gonna love this shoe. The hype will not make you buy this shoe, trust me. I'm saying that because Nike actually retro, not retro, but they re-released the first colorway, not the sales, cause that would, that would be amazing. They retro back the black pair. This right here, yeah. This is actually one of the OGs, the true OGs of this shoe. This shoe came out alongside the sale and it sold out within a few seconds. So being that Nike restocked this colorway and it sat, actually went on sale and I picked mine up for about 40 bucks. Bye, Breda. How? How did that even happen? You're telling me a shoe that hype could fall so low. It's crazy. And when that happens, it goes to tell you that it's all about the design. The design of the shoe is what really saved the shoe. The hype can't save it. Because if this sold out back in 2018, within seconds, was reselling for $500, and then restocked two years later, and nobody paid it any mind. After it restocked the second time, it went from $500 to $100. That's a $400 drop. Like, come on. I honestly feel bad for the people who spend $500 on this. Because I got it for $43. And it's like, brother, oh, you spend too much money on this. And now nobody even looking at you and saying, yo, those are fire. 
you paid for hype and now nobody even care about the design so that blows my brain and i know you're vex i know you're out there watching the video Ush. comment down below how much you paid for this shoe when it first came out did you get it for retail or did you spend that 500 dollars? or did you get it on the second drop and only paid 40 bucks when they went on clearance during quarantine what do you guys think though do you do you really think that this is a hyped up shoe or do you know in your heart it's all about design don't get me wrong this shoe is all about layering like when you look at it you can see the levels of this shoe the layers and everything it's a great looking sneakers however Nike dropped the ball just like I dropped the sneakers and released way too much color and messed up the hype. When Nike does that, they're really going to be relying on the design of the shoe to carry out all the sales. They no longer care about what the streets are talking about because the streets said this shoe was hot and now they're not. So now I only care about the design. The people buying these sneakers only care about the design. So there's no way on earth that you're going to look at me and tell me that this shoe is all hype. Besides the sale pair, and I honestly believe if the sale pair was to get retro or restocked, it will plummet, just like the black ones. So that's my bet, that's my call. This shoe falls in the design over hype. I don't care what you guys say. It could be the number one shoe of 2018, but in 2020, trash can water. Easy as that. <laughs> But yo, love, manas, and always, always respect. Thank you guys for yo for continuing to watch in this series that I got going. If you guys want me to talk about a certain sneakers, please leave a comment down below in this section where you leave comments. Yeah, yeah, that thing right there, that box, press it and leave a comment. All right, tell me what sneakers you want to see next. I do have a lot of more sneakers. A lot of more i do have more sneakers on my mind to get out there to talk about and to discuss about you know the resale market how the hype is lame or played out and now it's all about design which i think a lot of shoes is gonna fall into that category but you guys let me know all right i'm going